There. That's it. That's him. What's up, everybody? How you doing? You know who I am. You know what I do. So, we're going to rock and roll today. Thank you to my viewers and my subscribers. Like, thank you for helping me make it past a million. I want you to keep viewing. I'll throw your names out. Keep watching. So, let's go in. Today's topic's going to be the GOP. The softer, kinder GOP, that is. Now, the GOP is trying to put on a new public image. They're trying to be softer and kinder, and like they want to talk. They want to talk about uh, kitchen table topics, you know, issues that are the forefront that concern me and you, and the average schmucks. Now that being said, they want to be move beyond the budget fights that really, you know, divided the party and caused a lot of seats to be lost. In reality, they just don't want to lose more seats come November. But they want to. The problem with this is they have the the Tea Party swept the GOP in office like in 2011. All that momentum. But the problem with the Tea Party is Tea Party ain't trying to bargain with anybody. Tea Party is doing the Tea Party. They think they're sink or swim with the Tea Party. You rock with them. It's like a, an advantage as far as well. Not lately, it's not an advantage because of the the, the, the the pendulum swinging in the other direction right now. But at the time, the Tea Party, like I'll give you an example. Governor Kasich, she's my governor in Ohio. I've been living in the house since 2000. And one, 2000, 2001, 2000. And Kasich came here. He rode the Tea Party way. He was, he's, he's slick. I'll give him credit. He's like a, he's like a, how can I say? He's like a Clinton Republican. He rode that Tea Party way to get in the office, right? And he had a thing, he was doing the, that they were doing, the, well, it wasn't even what we were doing. We were trying to screw the government workers out of their days or money, whatever. But the voters were like, fuck no. The cases went back and he changed his plan. He, now he's talking about eliminating sales, state sales tax. I mean, not sales tax, the personal income tax, you know, lowering the sales tax. He's talking about a lot of more topics that, like, me and you, the average schmucks, can relate to. Now, this is the same, but the, like I said, the Tea Party, you know, turned the grand old party into like the party which people were starting to say, like, they're not for they're not for everybody. Unfortunately, the grand old party is only if, if you're rich and white, that's who you really like the party's for right now. Like, people say, well, and then I, I love this one here. This one, why well, look, the king was in the Republican Party, but you gotta understand the Republican Party back then. Was well, nothing like the Republican Party is now. But, but, like as long as you got them fucking wackos in the Tea Party, them them, them covert racists, you ain't getting gonna get no minorities. Cause and the more the minorities you do get are gonna be more the Republican brand itself. It's not gonna be like the Tea Party. They're gonna be like the Republican brand. Like that's what they're gonna go for. Like me personally, if I was rich, yeah, I'd be a Republican because I want my money. But at the end of the day. I, 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 black people would believe it or not are, are, are just as conservative as the Republicans, but they don't agree with the Tea Party because they throw them hidden messages out. But like I said, if you, the GOP is focusing on like education, you know, bringing up, bringing other races into the fold. They're trying to starve off. They're starving off more like election losses was going to happen next year if they don't do something. Like with this budget snap from another, this set in thirds. But they're even talking about being willing to work with Obama on immigration. Now you know these motherfuckers are serious. Because they're willing to, they're willing to, if they're willing to work on immigration, that means though some of these, some of these, somebody in the grand old party got a light bulb that went off and went, dang, we got to either corral these tea party wackos or we're losing seats in fucking November. You know, to me, it just starts to, so, I mean, it smells like a good plan to me. Because like, if you don't get rain in the Tea Party wackos, I'm telling you, Republicans, you're going to lose more than what you did last year. I'm out. Peace. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. There. That's it. That's him.